Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Tim and it is another month, so you know what that means. There are many like it, but this loot crate is mine. That's right, it is February, and so that is the month of build, if my memory serves, and... Oh boy, we got another batch of loot here to open up, so let's find out what's inside. Starting with, uh, taking a look at the uh, top of the box here, I see that it's... Looks kind of like a little robot. It says, loot bot. It's my very own loot bot. I'm excited about putting you together. And so let's take a look at some of the other stuff inside so we can get to our good little loot bot, shall we? Uh, starting off with the themes for this month. Uh, it was build, as I mentioned earlier, and so that includes stuff from uh, Lego Dimensions, also Lego Batman, and Power Rangers, and oh god, what was the fourth thing? Tetris. <laughs> I guess I could just go ahead and look right into the box and find out the other things, shall I? And so first off, as you can see by the logo right here on the front of the box, we have the Lego Batman item. And the Lego Batman item says it is a food container. It is a Lego Batman food container. But I'm not exactly sure what kind of food it's meant to contain. Computer, tell me. Tell me now. Ooh. Actually decent sized food container that's quite a lot larger than I was expecting I figured this box would be hiding something uh, a lot more I don't know size distorting but let's take a look here <laughs> I do love that Lego bat face that Lego bat face is pretty goddamn hysterical every time and open up his brains to find uh, oh it's a twist off absolutely nothing What's inside of Lego Batman's head? Nothing. Sounds about right. Nothing but dead air. And so I'm assuming that this keeps hot things hot and cold things cold. Actually, let me probably go ahead and read the instructions here. Temperature, temperature limitations, 14 degrees to 158. So yeah, it's meant to uh, hold both hot and cold stuff. All materials are BPA free. Do not put in microwave or freezer. Interesting. Double wall insulation keeps food warm or cold for long periods of time. Hot foods and liquids can scald and burn, so please be careful. Neat. I wonder, I mean, I, you could fit a decent amount of soup in there. The problem is you would have to drink from the back of Batman's head. But that's still pretty cool. I kind of like that. And, yep. Huh. The lid's a little bit harder to put back on than I would have initially imagined. And, nope. <laughs> That's going to be fun. Anyway, so the next item that we have here is, of course, the t-shirt that comes across every month. And this month's t-shirt is... Absolutely gorgeous. Oh my god, this is the Power Rangers item. And it's actually a uh, kind of a blueprint sketch of the Megazord coming together. The Megazord. Not any of the shitty knockoff versions. The original Megazord. And you know you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me a lot of the Bubbles shirt from Rooster Teeth. The one with, or not, yeah, Bubbles? Yeah. The one with the Mantis? But as is tradition around here, one month's shirt goes away. And the other month's shirt goes on. Because we have to see how it fits and how it feels. I will say this. It's, it's that kind of stiffer blank that came in the December loot crate the one with the um mr robot shirt but the fit is of course very very nice it feels like it's going to soften up really nicely once i stick it in the washing machine and honestly look at the layout of that design it is so perfect on my body yeah yeah no i like this shirt a lot again very tiny logo so that way you're not sitting there with mighty Morphin power rangers emblazoned across your chest which is a shirt that I used to have, and I don't know what the hell happened to it. But anyway, yeah, yeah, no, I like this a lot. Next item up, we have hmm, a 50-piece oh, Cyborg and Cyber Guard set. That's pretty awesome. This one would be from the LEGO Dimension set and is a three-in-one thing. The Cyber Guard turn is the uh, Cyber Guard Walker um, and also the Cyber Wrecker and also the Laser Robot Walker as well. You can build them all in uh, those three configurations you see there. And that's pretty awesome. A 50-piece set of that. We may have some fun putting that together later on. 
placed right there. And next up we have, huh, it looks like Tetris magnets. What's funny is these, these should not be here. These should all have gone away because they are, in fact, three complete lines. But that's okay. So, I, huh, interesting. A full set of kitchen magnets in three layers of Tetris blocks. But, oh, I was just about to say, they kind of gypped you out of an L piece, but just like any other game of Tetris, guess what? There is only one L piece to be had. So you might as well get used to it. But yeah, I like those a lot. Do I have any metal over here? Damn, I need to get something metallic so that I can just plank. But uh, unfortunately, yeah, they break apart into their individual pieces. And if you're kind of careful, you can make sure to do that without actually tearing any of them because it seems like they're slightly more fragile than they would like. Hip. 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 It seems like it's easier if you bend it from the back rather than bending it from the front. If you bend it from the front, these cut areas have a chance to kind of bend and stretch and, and break. But if you break it from the back side, it, do, it has a much less chance of tearing the magnets apart. Very, very much noted indeed. All right. Next item in here is the loot pin. Oh, oh man. That is an awesome, awesome pin. Let me show you this thing. Hip. I really need to get a better camera so that you can see the detail of this nicely. But it's a wonderful pewter pin as per usual with the uh, Megazord on it. The Megazord that I'm wearing on my chest right now. Except that it's actually fully put together form. And the shape is nice too. Yeah, I like that a lot. So I wonder what the, uh, what the loot pin prize is for this month. If the pin is just Power Rangers. Interesting. As is tradition, it joins its brethren over here on our wonderful Doctor Who scarf. And we have reached the end of our loot crate. What do we have here? Thank you from the thanks to uh, to support from looters like you. We built loot crate on uh, from a small garage based company to what it is today. We are celebrating our fifth anniversary this year with a new logo. Designed to be like a window into the worlds. Stories and characters we all love, uniting all our crates under a single brand. We can't wait to build even more great memories with you. We love you, Chris and Matthew, co-founders of Loot Crate. Hmm. And then there's one last little mystery here. The secret order of keys. Unlock the mysteries at lootcrate.com slash keys. Curious. How curious and strange. I will have to check that out, but look at the design work on that. That's 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 pretty neat, honestly. That that makes me very intrigued. Very intrigued indeed. Now then. Oh, I see the new logo. Yes, yes, that is rather cool. It goes from the old loot crate here to the new loot crate here. Hmm. And so, inside our handy-dandy booklet, it has build instructions for the loot bot. In fact, let's go ahead and work on that while we can. Get out of there, Tetris magnets. Get out of there. And so we go ahead, and also the instructions are on the inside of the box as well. They, send, they seem to uh, want you to be able to build your little buddy. Oh, he's cool. He reminds me a lot of uh, maybe Clip Chip. Or Wally. But anyway, all right, so we go ahead and fold it all back into the lovely box shape that we know and trust. Huh. Being careful to take out his pronged arm bits. Come here, arm bits. I guess let me go ahead and take them both out at the same time and then I can separate them from there. Huh. And I'm assuming 
That one maybe gets hidden. Oh, it actually makes what's called cartridge storage. I don't know if you can see it on the side of the box there. It says cartridge storage. Cute. Um. Oh, come on. Let me tear out his crotchular region. There we go. Now it started. Now we're going. Right? Yeah, that's right. Okay. I was saying, it's a little bit too difficult, you know? You would think that maybe I'm doing something wrong, but I'm not. I guess, as is the case with some of these more complicated constructions, heh, it just kind of takes a little bit of effort and working. But this is why we do this live, so that way you can see just what you're getting involved with heh, when you do one of these. Come on. Seriously? I have to be doing something right. Uh, something wrong here. Huh. No? Turns out I'm not doing anything wrong here. But I can go ahead and leave it in just for speed's sake. There we are. Poke out an armhole. Hit. Poke out an armhole. And... Oh, I see how they want these to fit together. That's cool. They cut out little notches in the arms. Like so. Hmm. And made it so that you can just fold the arm in. If you want to fold it like so. Stick the fold in the hole, and once it reaches that click point, your arm is nice and secure. That's that's neat. That's neat. I like that a lot. You know, this reminds me a lot of some of those old papercraft projects that I used to do when I was a kid. And this is a really neat little callback to that. Huh. Get in there. I want my loot bot. Yay, loot bot! Not quite perfect, but you know what? It is mine. It has two settings. Incredibly happy, annoyingly happy, and Grumpy World Destroyer. I think we'll leave it on Grumpy World Destroyer for now. And yeah, that is all for the uh, inside of the box. That's pretty damn cool. Uh, let's see here. So a little bit about what's inside the booklet. Uh, we have some famous ranger faces where that talk about some of the, um, well, people who were in Power Rangers and went on to have some more famous careers. Uh, including Rose McIver, uh, Keith Robinson, Nikolai Nikolaev, Brian Cranston playing Zordon, this, this go around, and things of that nature. And it talks about the top five Power Ranger series. Uh, number one, of course, being the original. The series that started it all was Loot Crate's, in fact, number one unanimous pick. And then uh, let's see here. Up next, it talks about the Batman food container here. It asks what Batman eats. Ladies and gentlemen, you have eaten well. You have, eat, uh, you have eaten Gotham City's wealth it's, and its spirit. But now it's Batman's turn. What, what does the Cape Crusader chow down on? Hmm. Interesting. They talk a little bit about the diet that you see Batman eating throughout the comics. In the 60s, um, it featured important lessons like drink your milk and eat your, eat your veggies. And early comics show Batman eating an Olympian dial steak and salad while out on the town is Bruce Wayne. Interesting. And then, of course, it gives you instructions on how to build your own parfait. Because who doesn't love parfaits? Parfaits are delicious. And then, of course, it's an ad for Loot Crate DX, which looks like it has um, a, a die-cast model of the, the DeLorean from Back to the Future. Well, I mean, as if a DeLorean was in any goddamn thing else. Uh, and also, it has a couple of other items, including this wonderful-looking hoodie up here. And a comic from Bioshock Infinite, a manga from Bioshock Infinite. 
And then it talks about the LEGO Dimensions Fun Pack and all of the items that you could have gotten. Uh, it looks like each one of these uh, five different items that we could have gotten here comes with its own little walker set. Uh, you have, what was it, Wonder Woman, or excuse me, Wonder Woman, and then the unicorn and the astronaut from the Lego movie. I forget who this is. Who is that? Oh, it's the policeman. Uh, Liam Neeson's policeman. And then, of course, down here is the one that we got, Cyborg. And then it talks about how to become a professional Lego builder. Do you want to build a professional Lego set? Well, how about the uh, USS Intrepid, which is 1 40th scale and almost 23 fucking feet long. That's a lot of Legos. Uh, 32 Master Builders created a life-size model of an X-Wing. Holy shit. I wish it had a slightly larger picture of it than that, but that is a life-size X-Wing made out of Legos, ladies and gentlemen. That's impressive. And then it talks about Marvel gear and goods. Uh, you can get your Marvel box if you want to get your snicked on. That's actually a pretty nice picture there of huge, huge Ackman with uh, the snicked license plate on the back. And then we have create your own Tetris screen. Hmm, interesting. You can color in your own Tetris grid in case you want to go ahead and make yourself lose a little bit faster than you would in a normal game. And also it talks a little bit about the Tetris magnets themselves. Play, stack, and clear your way to a new high score. Uh, let's see here. Then it talks about loot gaming. Own the biggest and best in gaming universes. Go to loot.cr slash gaming. And then it also has free digital comics. Oh, awesome. Huh. So then, the promo code for this month's pin, the Megazord makes a mighty pin, yeah, I kind of agree with that, is the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers number zero and number one, and then the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers pink, which I assume is a solo comic, uh, episode, or episode, comic number one. And so that's kind of cool. Next page has a uh, how to build a tabletop RPG character, in case you've never played Dungeons and Dragons before. Wow, that's, huh. Neat thing to bring up there. I wonder if D&D uh, &D was actually in the Loot Crate DX for this month because I know that sometimes they will add in uh, descriptions in the book about items that were maybe in the DN cr uh, DM's crate. Ah, a DX crate. And then there's an interview with Jonathan Straw, Indie Game Achievement Unlocked. He was the developer, let's see, Exploding Tuba Studios designer Jonathan Straw. Hmm. Who released his own first game, which I wish you would tell me. Congratulations on releasing your first game, Divide. Interesting. Shout out to Divide. Three pages of that interview. And then there's <laughs> Loot Anime, which talks about the One Piece film Gold. This February's loot features the One Piece film Gold, Hayaku, with two estimation points, The Boy and the Beast, and much, much more. There is the uh, code for... Loot anime, if you are interested in that. And then there's the greatest thing I've ever built, where some of the Loot Crate employees talk about some of the greatest things they've ever built. Um, this gentleman right here built himself uh, uh, probably half a dozen Stormtrooper helmets and then decided to take on the Master Chief helmet, and that's pretty awesome. And then a fireplace made out of an HP server box. <laughs> I love making uh, neat things out of interesting items. I think my favorite one that I've done... Uh, recently, at least, I for 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 Valentine's Day, I ended up using a bunch of construction paper to make a uh, huge paper craft like uh, heart garland thing, where you had hearts going across an entire row and then down draping like curtains, and then in between each were sections of ribbon that hung down and had uh, uh, hearts and glitter coming down off of them, and it was really it was really really cool. I was very proud of it. And then let's see, Master Chief Helmet made from frosting only, uh, a knife made by a father for Christmas, and uh, ooh, wow, looks like some awesome chain mail made by the employee as well. And then enamel pins, this one looks like it's uh, <laughs> a little bit of wizard weed on top of there, and of course, your own made in clay baby Groot. Oh, how adorable. Or should I say adorkable? And then, of course, a way to treat your pet with Loot Pet if you love your pet more than you love yourself. Uh, the Mega Crate for this month had a 55-inch 4K Ultra, LED, uh, Ultra HD Smart LED TV, 
It had a Batman Arkham Knight bundle, limited edition PlayStation 4, 500 gigabyte console. It had the Power Rangers Legacy Thunder Megazord action figure and Lego Dimension starter pack for the PlayStation 4. Wow. Um, and then it also had the Tactibit 28-piece USB-powered lamp set. And then the Mini Mega Crate had a Patalone Batman travel mug and the Tetris LED construction desk lamp. Which is actually a pretty awesome uh, get if you were the lucky one enough able to get the Mega Crate on that. And so, ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of our crate for this month. Uh, as Queen mentioned earlier, next month's theme, uh, where was it? I just saw it, is Primal. It's stuff from X-Men and also Overwatch and also Predator. So uh, go ahead and go to LootCrate.com if you want to get your own Loot Crate. I wish I had a code to give out. Maybe at some point, if Loot Crate might decide to sponsor the show, that would be kind of great. But in the meantime, go into the description below and click on the link down there in order to get yourself signed up. My name is Tim Leftwich. This has been uh, YouTube.com slash Tim Leftwich, where we have unboxed another Loot Crate for this month. I'm excited about next month. And as always, we'll see you next time.